With the start of summer, we often become more aware of body image. According to the National Organization for Women, 80% of girls, 80% of girls are concerned about gaining weight. And get this, about 40% of women are dissatisfied with their bodies. That's right. So here to talk more about modeling healthy relationships with our body and food is Nystrom & Associates psychologist, Dr. Karen Ryan. It's so great to see you. Good to see you. Good. It, that was a pretty alarming statistic. Yes. I mean, it is the summer. People talk about their summer bods and their yeah. beach yes. bods. Some people are excited to show it off, but many people it causes a lot of anxiety. It does. Exactly, and it's, it's kind of everywhere. It's on the media and the news and all around of like how cutting this and doing this and look great in your suit and all of these messages we're getting all the time. And as we can see, it really impacts our youth. Yeah, it starts early. It starts really early, as early as elementary school. I know. Like 40 to 60% of elementary kids are worried about. Right. Gaining. Well, I remember it in yeah. elementary school, and I remember yes. those thoughts, and it's very, I think most people can look back at their life and remember those. Yeah. Let's talk about what's impacting our body image, though. What are the factors that are happening to cause us to maybe think negatively about, like, this amazing miracle that we live mm. in every yes. day? It's like, I, every day I'm like, I can't believe I'm just, just keeping alive. <laughs> <laughs> so like, right? This is amazing. The system is fantastic. <laughs> Right, but no, it's it's all the messages about all the things that it should be, right? The, the things we should always be improving, the things we should always be working on, the things we should always be achieving and trying to get at, and then we're good enough when we get to that point. And so we can find ourselves always critiquing and judging ourselves. So we get in this really strong, critical narrative of, about our bodies and yeah. about our relationship with food. And so one of the first things we can do about that is like, how do we shift how we talk about that in front of others, right? The ultimate goal is to reduce the thoughts at all, right? So we just feel right. good right. about ourselves. And that's a, this is a step in that direction of like, how do we stop making these negative comments all the time? Yeah, what are the things that you notice? Like, what are people saying that you yeah. really are like, shoot, mm. man? And I think, you'll, I think it'll bring a chord for almost everybody. So when we're thinking about swimsuits, it's like, oh, can I wear that suit again? How do I look? How is this going to be? And so you'll think about comments of like, oh, I'll never wear that suit again. Or look at my thighs in this. Or this didn't fit me this way last year. Or just any negative mm -hmm. comment. Like, I wish my stomach were flatter. I wish this was this. I wish this was bigger. I wish this was smaller. I wish this was smoother. I wish it's just everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And we don't realize it, but as we're getting dressed in the locker room or wherever we are with our kids, what sort of comments are we making? Yeah. How are we kind of talking about our bodies? And they're taking all that in. Yeah, yeah. Well, we kind of talked about earlier this week with when we had Shaletta on how you, you know, it's okay sometimes to praise yourself and yeah. clap for yourself. And I think yeah. it's in some ways this, this relates into, you know, you being your own positive advocate. Yeah. And that starts with verbally saying something, you know, about yourself. Mm -hmm. So, you know, finding something as you look in the mirror instead of like, breaking yourself down like yeah. there are some positive attributes when you put that suit on that you have to like as well yeah absolutely and I think it's feeling good about your and saying like oh I feel so strong I feel so good I feel healthy those are positive ones it's really when we get focused on weight that can be a really negative thing so also being thoughtful about how often are you weighing yourself and are you weighing yourself in front of your children on a regular basis because then what are they seeing mm -hmm. oh that they tie that directly and my self-worth is based on my weight which we know is not true but that's one of those negative thought patterns we can get in. I was listening to a podcast this week and they were talking about how children see themselves as an extension of their parents. And they were talking about this in, in relation to parents who are divorcing and why it is so important to not speak negatively about the ex-spouse. That mm -hmm. it's not about how they're going to feel about the ex-spouse, it's about how they're going to feel about themselves yes. because they see themselves as an extension of parent. So as you were talking about that, it made me think about, oh my gosh, this makes so much sense. Where it can come down to both parents too. There's a lot of pressure on the mom yeah. to like, don't say that in front of the kids, but what about the the father Same figure? thing, think about all the jokes that people will make about dad bods or this or yeah. that in my belly. Oh, I hope the slide doesn't break or all those little jokes. <laughs> right? I mean, you've heard it, right? Like, we know exactly what they sound like. <laughs> that was very funny. And they are funny. funny. And then it's like, okay, but at what point do we kind of cross that line and kids start to think that yeah. way where they've yeah. never thought of it? They just slide down. I know. I know. They just yeah. live there. They lives. just go down that slide. So, I have a more fear is if I go down the slide, will I break? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, at my age now, I'm like, suit. oh boy. Yeah. Or my suit break. Yeah, yeah that little yeah. dip right there in the middle of the slide, I don't know my back can handle yeah. that thing. <laughs> totally. <laughs> so a lot of this too, we talk about just like the image and the messaging part of it. Yeah. But when you actually like the practice part of it, like when it comes to food, yeah. you know, how, yeah. how do we how do we deal with that? Because that mm -hmm. is a tricky situation sometimes tricky situation. the way the adults talk about food and the way yeah. they feel like they take it in and with the kids. Yeah. So what we want to do is model a healthy relationship. And what I love is that we don't actually have to have a perfect relationship with food 
or our bodies or swimsuits, mm -hmm. but we can choose to act as if and model what a healthy relationship looks like. So there are many times I bite my tongue. I think it and I'm like, I am not saying that out loud to my children. Yeah. And so a healthy relationship with food is having like balanced meals, trying to have meals together, and really talking about what fuels you, what makes you feel good, what makes you have energy, what will keep you strong for your soccer game, kind of thing like that. Yeah. And then it's again like watching what you say. How often do you say, oh, I shouldn't eat that, or I can't have that, oh, I mm -hmm. shouldn't have eaten all that, oh, I feel so full, oh, I feel gross, I need to start my diet soon, or I'm dieting. And so all of those kind of messages have a negative impact yeah. on children and their relationship with food and ourselves. And it's not only kids. Think about when you're at lunch with your friends and somebody makes that negative comment. Yeah. It's a, you're right. It's, it's no fun. So one person makes a comment and everybody's evaluating what they've eaten. Is it good enough? Am I bad, good enough? What should I have had? Yeah. And so it's really like the one thing we can do like today is like stop making those negative comments about ourselves or about what we're eating or about food out loud. I think if you can start to see yourself through how your kids see you too, it's yes. real. That's been a real game changer for me. Just we went to the pool a couple weeks ago and I put on a two-piece suit and a and a cover-up deal and my son Frankie who's 5 who, you know, he was here this week and he said, "Mama, you look beautiful in that." Yes. And I was thinking, you know, like Especially for moms, your children see, like my kids look at my body and they think that is my home. That is yes. where I belong. It, yep. like, that your is, comfort. That's the beginning. That is mm. everything yeah. that gave me life. And so looking at yourself the way that they look at mm -hmm. you is really a big game changer. Absolutely. Yeah, Frankie, he's a sweet guy. What a, no, he's a what sweet guy. He got a lot he of points it. that day. Yeah, and it's, it's what do you do with your body? Yes. Do you go down the slide? <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing that slide back. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Do you go down the slide? Do you have fun? Do you swim? Do you jump in? Do you put on that suit yeah. and do it, even if your hair and makeup is going to be wild? Right, and that's the kind of stuff that makes a big difference. Yeah. Everybody is a swimsuit body. That's right. Thanks, Dr. Ryan. And that Pleasure. modeling that modeling advice is such a great piece of advice because yeah. the kids are watching yeah. us as parents. Yeah, yes. totally. Pretty are. much everything that we say and do. For mm. <laughs> better or worse. For better or yes, for yeah. better or worse. Nice Room and Associates provides care in the fields of family therapy, psychiatry, psychology, and more. They also work with couples, families, and people of all ages. So if you're struggling with stress, anxiety, depression, or addiction, please reach out to them today.